So, for a young sumo stable master right now, this is how starting out looks. Goedo's Takekuma stable is now in this building, Dohyo in the basement, dormitory on floor 4. So say the staff of Kampachi restaurant. That's for office and construction workers. The residents seem too affluent to go. This part of sedate South Tokyo suburbia is bisected by the Nakahara Highway, then quartered, would you believe, by a bullet train line. Just meters, in fact, from Tranquil on Take Shrine. This then is the place in which Takekuma hopes his small but growing band of men will shine. Pivotal now, for stable interest and investment, is the growth of lead wrestler Toki Nishikawa, a third divisioner who you may recall having quite a new year. His post-injury comeback began against Nabatame, pushing up with the left, jabbing with the right, until his foe grew tired of his firmly balanced feet. His double parry of a dodgy left arm then had Shaw Hordu spinning to defeat. While despite the fumbled pull, further firm low left knee led thrusts accounted for Hikari Fuji. Tochiseidu was thrust out on day 4 in a match I didn't get, before Tanabe, here, was taken by the belt and crushed out in Superman pose. That moved Nishikawa into title eliminators, where he first read Roman's sideways dart, <laughs> then hammered the throat with thrust after thrust, And the decider saw him outfox even Ryuden. <laughs> who tasted dirt for the first time post comeback. A huge confidence boost, Nishikawa rightly declared. Although I didn't want him on my belt, I ruled out the sidestep and resolved to hit hard. His coach, who hails from the same Osaka hometown and Saitama High School, said, He's got the power for sure, a sturdy frame, and a nigh unshakable axis. What he no longer has, though, is salaried level men with whom to spar. His split from Sakaigawa stable dividing him from these three. It is therefore hoped that Takekuma's new signing, Taiga Kanzaki, last year's amateur runner-up, will provide some training room tests ahead of his own Division 4 debut next month. Takekuma is desperate to mould that pair, so much so it seems that he's sacrificing comforts, proximity to Ryogoku, and facilities simply to start this stable. He's not the only one doing that. Here is the remote short-term base of Nishonoseki Stable secured by Kisenosato. And that doesn't even have a restaurant built in. Or nearby. But Nishonoseki will soon be moving somewhere purpose-built. 
Takekuma, even in a lengthy interview out today, is yet to declare the same. But he offered the slightest of hints as to why he's keen to manage. Look, I'm really pleased we could hold my retirement event, and that despite the pandemic, people came in their droves, he began. But the preparations were just so difficult amid the changing virus situation. And all the way through, we could barely decide whether to hold the thing, let alone how many people to invite. And you just think, a little further down the line, these virus cases will go down, and it would have been great to hold the event then. But look, it's no good pointing fingers, is it? I know it's tough for everyone right now. You can just, can you not, make out the rumblings. The hints, as my linked piece suggested, that regardless of COVID spikes, his event was deemed immovable, against his wishes, by older colleagues. And someone of his age, not quite 36, in a big Japanese firm, will not have a proper say in how anything works for decades. Having his own stable will at least allow him to decide something outside of all those droning meetings in Sumo HQ, thus making X or Zeki life much more fun. And some of his surroundings will add to that. Historic, inspiring Ikegami Temple and the grave of Sumo hero Rikidozan. Or Noe stable, in a different group, but surely up for some kind of joint practice. And Haneda Airport, with its ease of access to his native Osaka. That's where the March meet is, of course. And will his Takekuma boys be flying? <laughs> 